Hi everyone and welcome to 180 DC SBSC's guesstimate session. To give a little bit of context here, a guesstimate is essentially an estimate that is based on a combination of guesswork and reasoning. So in order to resolve this, you need to use your basic problem solving skills as well as reasoning ability in order to reach a rational conclusion to the problem statement that you provided. I am Pragyansh and I'll be acting as the interviewer along with Yashwini who will be acting as the interviewer for this round. Hi Yashwini. Hi Pragyansh. Right. So your guesstimate for this round is you need to guesstimate the number of iPhone 15s that will be sold in India in one year. All right. Pragyansh, so just to clarify, are we focusing solely on personal user sales, excluding commercial sales and secondhand markets? Yeah. So you only need to focus on personal user sales. You can assume that these secondhand sales are like negligible. Great. Thank you. Um, I'll approach this problem by focusing on the demand side starting with the potential customer base in India. Um, that sounds good, but how do you plan to segment the population? Right. So for the population segmentation, India has a population of approximately 1.4 billion. I'll begin by segmenting this population into rural and urban areas, assuming a 70 is to 30 split. Uh, and what's your reason for choosing the 70 is to 30 split? So this split actually reflects the general demographic distribution in India with a larger portion residing in rural areas. Does that seem reasonable to you? Oh, perfect, that works. And how do you plan to segment the population further? Right. So moving forward, I'll break down these groups into income classes, lower, middle and high income, which will help identify potential iPhone buyers. Uh, and can you walk me through those numbers? Sure. So here's the segmentation, rural population, which is approximately 70% of the total Indian population, which is 1.4 billion, which comes out to be approximately 980 million. An urban population, which is 30%, which comes out to be 420 million. Further coming to the income class segmentation, talking of the rural areas, I have divided them into lower, middle and high income groups, as I mentioned before. Lower income, 60%, which is 588 million. Middle income, 35%, which comes out to be approximately 343 million, and high income, 5%, which comes out to be 49 million. Now, coming to urban areas, lower income, which is 30% of 420 million, which comes out to be 126 million, middle income, 50%, which comes out to be 210 million, high income, which comes out to be 20%, which is 84 million. I'd say that's an interesting approach. Um... I have the next question, which is that how will you determine the target market for iPhone 15? Right. So for the target market, I'll assume that only the high income classes in rural areas can afford an iPhone, while in urban areas, both middle and high income classes would be our potential buyers. Uh, and what's your rationale for excluding the lower income class from your target market? Right. Pragyansh here, so iPhones are premium devices. So it's unlikely that the lower income segment, especially in rural areas, would prioritize purchasing an iPhone and actually giving off a major chunk of their income to a gadget like this. Does that make sense to you? Uh, yes, I'd say that's reasonable. So what do the potential buyer numbers actually look like if we go by your reasoning? All right. So let's calculate the potential iPhone buyers. Rural areas, high income, assume, let's assume that 10% of them can afford an iPhone, which is 10% of 49 million, comes out to be 4.9 million. As for urban areas, let's assume 50% of the middle income class population can afford to buy an iPhone, which comes out to be 50% of 210 million, which is 105 million. And as for the high income, let's assume that all of them, that is 10%, can afford an iPhone, which comes out to be 84 million. And why assume that only 10% of the high income rural population can actually afford an iPhone? Right. So the purchasing power in rural areas, even among the high income class, is generally lower than in urban areas. Hence, I used a conservative estimate. Would you agree with that assumption of mine? I think that's perfect. But how do these numbers actually add up? Right. So the total potential iPhone buyers would be rural 4.9 million, urban 105 million plus 84 million which comes out to be 189 million. I'd say that this is quite a large potential market, but how many of these would actually go ahead and buy an iPhone? That's actually a great question, Pragyansh. I'll assume that 50% of these potential buyers prefer iPhones, while the other 50% might go for other brands. 
So iPhone users, rural areas, 50% to 4.9 million, which comes out to be 2.4 million. Urban, 50% to 189 million, which comes out to be 94.5 million roughly. So total iPhone users by uh, adding up all of these comes out to 96.95 and let's assume uh, it to be 97 million approximately. Interesting. And how do you translate that into the annual sales? All right. So I'll assume an iPhone has an average replacement cycle of about three years. So about one third of iPhone users will purchase a new iPhone each year. Perfect. That makes sense. And what is your estimate for the annual sales then? So talking about the annual iPhone sales, it would be 97 million divided by three, which is the average replacement cycle that I just spoke about, which comes out to be approximately 32 million. Uh, and how many of these would actually be iPhone 15s? So assuming two thirds of these buyers opt for the latest model. Um, so iPhone 15, which is the latest model sales would be two thirds of 32 million, which comes out to be approximately 21 million. Uh, but if you actually look at the figures, there are also a lot of Android users existing. So do you think any of them might switch to the iPhone 15? Absolutely. That's a great point. Um, let's consider Android users who may switch to iPhone. Assuming 9 million Android users are buying new iPhones this year and 5% of them switch to iPhone. So Android users would approximately be 5% of 9 million, which comes out to be 450,000. Perfect. And what does your final estimate then be? So adding up all the figures that I mentioned before, um, which is 21 million plus 450,000, approximately I estimate 21.5 million total iPhone 15 sales in India. That's great analysis. You're quite close to the answer. It is 21.7 million. And thank you so much for walking me through your thought process. All right. Thank you so much.